Hello everyone and welcome. This week um, we're gonna see how to add the Facebook pixel uh, to your Shopify store. Um, so let's go ahead and, and create a new pixel on, on Facebook. Pixel name. I'm just gonna give it the name of uh, the, the the website that I'm currently adding it to. So you can email it or you can just ask for the code. It's really important to to add it in the head section of your code as is it said here. So let's just go ahead and copy the code. Go in your admin, online store, themes, click on the three dots, edit HTML, CSS. So we want to add it on all the pages in, in, in our website. So go in the theme liquid and look for the starting head and you should have a closing head also right here so i will add it just at the end over here and it says uh this is my pixel code and that's it don't forget to click save we can double check that it is really on the website. You can just right click and view page source. And should be, should be, should be right here. So it is installed on the website. Also, you can add conversion trackers, um, conversion tracking. For example, if you want to, um, to, to track when somebody goes to your product page, your landing page, or your cart page. And in my case, uh, this is what I would like to do. <clears throat> Sorry, and maybe um, knowing also when they add to cart. You have, I think, nine of them two, eight, yeah, nine <coughs> that you can use. Let's see how to do it. So view content, you're just gonna copy the event code and make sure you add it under, just under the page view. So let's go back in our code here in page view. So I wanted the page view and, <clears throat> sorry, the add to cart. So let's just see again if it is in the source code. Pixel track. Oh, sorry, I didn't refresh it. Let's just refresh. So it is here, but maybe you guessed the issue is now this is on all pages. So being a collection, a product, a cart, all of that. So I need to specify for this <clears throat> to only show when I'm on a product page. So go into your uh, go into your store. Go in uh, go in a product. Open the inspect element. And um, you will see here class template product. 
So what I want to do is specify for the code to be used or shown only when I'm on a product page. So let me show you how to do this. So this, these two, <clears throat> we're going to put an if if template contains product and don't forget to close it <clears throat> let's click save let's go back here refresh Your page source. Okay, so it is here. Let's just double check if on the home page it's gone. And yes, you see. <clears throat> so right now I have it to display only on the product page. You can do the same for, uh, for the cart. You can do the same for the cart uh, if you're using the uh, inspect, inspect feature of uh, Firefox or, uh, or Chrome you you always see template cart this is the template that is being used so um that's it if you have any questions as usual please don't hesitate um ask me in uh, in the comments below you always have uh, my information also you can reach me on uh on, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, Skype. There's also my email there. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'm releasing videos like this each week. Uh, like that, you won't miss anything. And thank you and good luck.